Hey bitch, it's me again. What is up you guys? Today I wanted to do another react video. I actually really like doing these sort of videos. If you guys know something I can react to, I will gladly do it. It can also be like political, social, news stuff. I am a woman of the world. I'm going to be reacting to my most controversial video. I made this video three years ago. Oh my god, I was 17 here. I'm 20 now. That's fucked. I made this video with the most cliche title ever, which is, he didn't know I was trans. Oh, he didn't know I was trans. Every single trans girl that has ever made a YouTube channel makes this video for the exact reason that it gets a lot of views a lot of hate just like a lot of interaction so i'm not gonna lie that's why i made this video someone actually reposted it to facebook and the comments <laughs> the comments were fucking vile first of all they called me an alcoholic which will make sense i guess if you listen to the story but that's european culture like european culture is drinking at 14 y'all over in the u.s you're either liars or you're soft so that's just a culture thing and everyone was like oh my, oh god, my god she has terrible, terrible parents, parents. Who, is who is drinking, drinking at 14 at everyone here is that's just the reality i'm not saying it's right it's not but that's the reality so anyway let's get into the video are you fucking kidding me hey bitch it's me again what is up your life must be in shambles if you're watching my channel <laughs> And I welcome you with open arms. Come to me, child, slut of the earth. I'm just thinking. So many people saw this video and were like, what the hell is she talking about? That's my sense of humor. And people are just like, what is this 17 year old doing? And they are correct. What am I doing? It's me, underage drinking, drug abuse, and premarital sex. I think it's. I have to laugh. <laughs> I got my first boyfriend at 15. No, this story. It just basically sums up the entirety of my teenage years. It's disgusting. Now, I met this guy at a festival in the Netherlands we like to call Carnival. Okay, so for all my Dutch people, you know all about that you met Carnival, not the most good choices maakt. Um. Hou dat in je achterhoofd, alsjeblieft. You can make another 20 story times about that festival alone. We're going out to celebrate Carnival together, um, which was basically a recipe for disaster because we were both very mentally unstable and very much in the mood for alcohol. This was with my best friend at the time. The first time I smoked weed was with her. And ever since that, we just went on a rampage, basically. And now... I'm a good girl who never does bad stuff anymore. I miss her. She was fun. We were absolute terror together, but she was fun. Love her. So I met this guy, um, and I cannot accentuate the fact that I was a drunk mess enough. I thought this guy was hot. He was not, he, he was not hot, honestly. Girl, that's so mean. Sometimes I blurt shit out impulsively and I'm not thinking about the consequence at all. That's fine to say on the internet to like a hundred thousand people. But like my drunk, thirsty 15 year old mind was like, oh my god, like fucking daddy, like oh my god, like own my ass, like oh my god. <laughs> it's so unfortunate that those words came out of my mouth. <laughs> no. Anyway, we kind of got talking. I was like on a makeout spree. I had already made out with like a lot of people. So we were like having a conversation. Um, and I randomly said to like my friend like, Oh my God, like I really want to make out with someone. And she was like, Oh my God, fuck yes, bitch. Like, oh my God, totally make out with him. And I was like, okay. And then I asked like, This sounds like it was written by the writers of Euphoria and no, 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 not Euphoria. I'm not giving myself that credit. It, it sounds like this was written by the writers of Riverdale. Wanna make out? And he was like, sure bro. <laughs> now, I honestly kind of liked him, but only when I was drunk, so that says enough. After- Again, that's so mean. We started like texting and like, okay, it, was, it wasn't that bad at first. Like, 
Who am I kidding? It was disgusting. I did not tell him I was transgender. I was hiding it. I'm going to be honest with you. I was pretty passable back then. <laughs> <laughs> That, that fucking photo, that basically says everything about the state that I was in. But my body was like a fucking square. I still thought like, how the fuck do you not know? Oh my god, I didn't even have boobs back then. I forgot about that. There was a time when I didn't have boobs. Wow. She's come so far. But he didn't seem to know. And I hit that pretty well for a few days. In that mess of a week, I decided that it would be a good idea to throw a party at my house because my parents were out of town. Most of the people I invite, I don't even talk to anymore. I am not promoting this behavior. But I invited that guy, obviously. Everyone brought like a lot of alcohol and we all got really drunk. Decisions, decisions. And I still hadn't told him the news. We were kind of like flirting and like vibing. <laughs> But I was basically flirting with everyone at the party because I was a drunk mess. I don't even that was remember half of the night. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. This video has officially turned into a mukbang. I am eating a sandwich. A sandwich of disgrace, I might add. Long story short, I got so drunk I passed out at my own party. My own party, bitch. I look back at all the stupid shit I did at 15 and I just want to punch myself in the face. I didn't just pass out. One of the guys, he made like a really disgusting cocktail of like a really nasty blue drink and orange juice. I got blackout drunk and I puked neon green. Neon green. And then I passed out. This was actually really sweet. The guy he carried me off to bed. All my friends cleaned up the mess they made. They went home. It was so sweet. They sent me a text message like, oh my god, are you okay? That was really nice of him. So I gotta give him credits for that. I woke up at 4 a.m. in the dark, home alone. I had a panic attack. I felt terrible. I had like a semi hangover already. And I saw that text and I was just like so... So taken back and it was just like... <laughs> Why am I acting like I'm getting emotional? Like. So, so taken back. I sent this guy a text like, oh my god, I can't thank you enough. That is so sweet. I have to tell you something. Can we please do this over the phone? We called, uh, I explained everything to him. His response? His response. He says, okay, I don't really care. Anyway. Wanna be my girlfriend? How could you? How the fu- uh. It's so funny to me because I built this video up to like, oh, he's gonna like do some shit. He didn't do anything. He was like, okay, you wanna be my girlfriend? And that was so funny to me because everyone in the comments was so pissed at me. It was like, how dare you not tell him? He didn't even mind. I built this whole story up to like, oh, oh, here it comes. Here, yeah, he's gonna do it. He didn't do anything. I was quite fucking sober. So I realized I don't like this guy at all. But I had to say yes. Like, I was like, what the fuck? So I said yes. I dated this fucking guy for two months. He dumped me over text. <laughs> That's mean. your car, my bitch. And then he also kissed one of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for all the support you gave me and yeah. <laughs> Outro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's ear rape. So basically, I was just a troll, and y'all ate that shit up. Y'all ate it up, and she was like, I'm gonna milk the shit out of this. When in reality, this story is just about all the dumb shit I did when I was a teenager. And this was not the worst. I have done way, way dumber stuff. Maybe I should do story times. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope I made you laugh. I hope I made you cry. I hope I made you angry. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. That's so me. That's... 
oh my god that's like <laughs> so me that's so me that's so me oh my god that's so me um that's so me <laughs>